Superposition is a method that can be useful to analyze circuits that contain more than one independent source. It is based on the principle of linearity, which means that for a circuit containing only ideal voltage and current sources and resistors, for example, that is a linear circuit, meaning that we can find the output of the circuit, which could be, for example, a sought current or a sought voltage, in response to a number of different inputs, which are the independent sources, by analyzing the effect of each input, that is each independent source acting separately, and then adding those responses to get the response of the output variable to all of the inputs acting at the same time. Let me mention first that a prerequisite for this material is to have done level four of the DC single node pair single loop tutorial as that covers the material um, that has to do with transforming SOT variables, which you will need to use in superposition. And so in particular, I recommend you uh, look at sections 12 and 13 of the online introductory tutorial, as well as doing this exercise prior to beginning superposition, as that'll help you a great deal. So now I will illustrate how to do a superposition problem. Um, I always recommend, of course, that you look at some examples before trying the exercises, but I'm going to go straight into an exercise now. So I'll begin one at the easy level. So here's a circuit diagram that we want to solve. However, we're only going to be allowed to solve this using single node pair or single loop analysis. And the reason is that basically with one source, you can always do that type of analysis. And if you can't do it, then there's probably limited value really in using superposition. So the first step in a superposition problem is always going to be to kill the sources, that is to deactivate all but one of the sources. So we're going to go into the circuit editor now in what we call a source killing mode. And remember that in order to, to deactivate a voltage source, you want to set it to zero volts. And a zero volt voltage source is equivalent to a short circuit. On the other hand, if you want to deactivate a current source, you want to set that to zero amps, which means that it becomes an open circuit. So it doesn't matter which one I start with here. So let's start by killing the seven volt source. So I change that to a short circuit. And that's all there is to do here. I can't, I won't be allowed to edit anything else. So I'm done killing the sources. You cannot do simplification in the source killing mode in the circuit editor. It requires going into a different mode, which we can now access. So in this case, we really don't need to simplify the circuit any further because we already have a simple uh, current divider. And so I'm simply going to solve the problem uh, by selecting a single node pair circuit and doing the standard analysis for a current divider. So I'm going to select the SOT branch current. And notice that this variable now, I0 prime, is the not the complete current that we were after, the I0, because that is due to the sum of the two sources acting independently. And we've actually eliminated one of those sources so that we now have a single source circuit. So that's why this is called I0 prime and not I0. So I0 prime here, I'm going to use uh, this formula, which basically I have five amps there. And then remember that for a current divider, I need to use the other resistor in the numerator, namely seven amps, divided by seven plus the 9 ohm resistor. And then I'll check the polarity, the P word. So the 5 amps goes into this top node and then will go out in the direction of I0 prime. And so that means I do need a plus sign here. So that will be correct. So I check that equation. And that's all I need for this type of circuit. So now I just simply enter a numerical value. And evaluating that, I get 2.19 amps. And now I have finished analyzing the circuit, as it says, with that single source active, namely the 5 amp source, and this summarizes the results of that for me. Now I have to kill the other source. So I go back into the source killing mode once again. And this time I want to turn off, since I already analyzed the effects of the 5 amp source, I don't want that present now. So I'm going to select on that one and press delete to eliminate it. And that basically uh, simplifies this circuit. Um, and I'm done killing sources. Note that I'm not allowed to combine these resistors in series at this point um, because I'm in the source killing mode. So I have to exit that mode in order to simplify. Now, if I wanted to simplify this, I can go into the 
circuit editor and simplify. And now I'm in, a, in the pre-simplification mode, which means I can combine those resistors in series. So I'm going to replace the 9 by the sum of the 2, which is a 16, keeping the resistor that has the I0 double prime SOT variable because otherwise um, I would lose that variable if I deleted this one. So I'm going to change this one to a SOT, uh, to a short circuit, and then check that combination. And that is correct. And you will notice again that this is called I0 double prime because now this is the response of the circuit to only the 7 volt source. So that's different from I0 prime, which was the response due to the 5 amp source. Now I'm done with the simplification. I've simplified that as much as possible. So I'll simply exit there. And now um, I'm going to use a, I could use either one, but I'm going to use a single node pair, which I think is recommended in this case. And then I'm simply going to write an equation for that SOT branch current, which is very simple now. It's just going to be an Ohm's law type of expression. So I have 7 volts divided by 16 ohms. And in terms of polarity, I notice that indeed this is the uh, passive sign convention for that resistor. And so I'm going to have a plus sign in Ohm's law. If I had active sign convention, for example, if the 7 volt polarity were reversed or the direction of the I0 double prime were reversed, I would have a minus sign. I check that, and I'm all done with my equations. And now I simply need to enter a numerical value for I0 double prime. This value is for I0 prime, which is different. So this is going to work out to be 0.438. Check that. That's correct. And then the final step is I have to apply the superposition principle, which means in the original circuit, I now need to add the output, this current, due to each of the individual sources. And so simply adding those two numbers together gives me 2.62, and that is correct. And so I've now completed that. And if I wish, I can see a detailed explanation of the entire problem showing how you activate or deactivate each source and then do the full analysis.